I recently talked about frivolous and outright dumb uses of AI. So where is AI really useful? Here's a pretty solid prediction. Every programming tool is going to have an AI assistant in it, and it's going to be widely used and become a standard part of writing code. Why is coding such a good target for AI assistance? Part of the answer comes from the fact that coding tools already have assistants in them. It's just that they're not as powerful as generative AI could make them. Almost all coding tools have code completion, which anticipates what code you want to enter next, and static analyzers that try to find problems in your code before you run it. And then, once you run the code, there are other tools to help you debug that code. All of these touch points on code are a good place to apply AI, just as chess and Go software went from being algorithmic to being AI-driven code completion, is going to turn into automated code creation and static analysis is going to transition from being algorithmic to heuristic to being AI driven. Code also has the advantage of being checkable instantly. AI isn't going to create code that doesn't compile and doesn't run. It still doesn't guarantee that the AI did, didn't create the wrong code, but those instances are going to be much fewer and easier to spot just due to the nature of code. You can think of it this way. Coding is a kind of game, and AI is very good at games. Knowing that coding is an example of a good target for using AI, and what characteristics of coding make it a good target, is going to help you spot other valuable uses of AI. 2025 is going to be a year of discovering the good uses and the useless cases for AI. Find some good ones.